In this video, we're going to quickly compare the Brooks Catamount 2 against the Craft Pro Endurance Trail Shoe. What is up everybody and welcome to Trail HQ here in the very mountainous and beautiful Broxbourne. It's not, I mean it's kind of beautiful. But anyway, right, so we're going to be comparing very quickly the Catamount 2 against the Craft Pro Endurance Trail. I thought this would be a great review because I've enjoyed both of these shoes to a degree. Okay, at the front end, so let me know, do you own either of these? And let me know what you think. Do you like the Catamount 2? Do you like the Pro Endurance Trail? Are you interested in either of these? Or is there a better alternative to both of these out there? Right, let's clear the stats and features. Uh, I've got it written down here. So, um, blah, 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 blah. 145 pounds, 160 pounds. Uh, six mil drop, don't know the drop. Um, 12 ounces, yeah, it's 12 ounces, and you can feel it while I'm holding it. All right, it's got loads of dirt on it, but it's 12 ounces. We've got 10 ounces, so two ounces lighter. Uh, we've got a lot less stack here, 22 mil. I'm not 100% sure what the stack is, but obviously you can see that it's a lot more. We've got uh, PX foam in here, high energy return low density. We've got DNA flash and nitrogen infused DNA flash in this shoe. Uh, we've got very sticky outsoles on both. We've got the trail track here. In the Catamount 2, we've got the uh, TPU plate, which is good news. We don't have a plate in the craft. And they both got kind of similar feeling uppers, both fit true to size. Uh, did I mention the prices? 145 pounds, 160 pounds? I think I did. Right, okay, so which one do I prefer? Well, straight away, believe it or not, I'm going to say the, uh, the Craft, which is heavier by two ounces, but I just like the height stack height. I like the Brooks. I'm not going to like go hard on Brooks because I like this, but I just wish this shoe had this amount of foam in it. On the trails for me, I don't necessarily particularly notice the weight as much as I do on my road shoes. Um, so that even though two ounces is heavier, I don't really notice it because I'm kind of just plodding along and I'm not doing mega distance up there. Um, this doesn't feel as necessarily fast as this, but this is a lot of fun to bob and weave around because you've got the extra stack and that very nice uh, and a high energy return PX foam. This is a firmer ride. Yeah, it does feel quicker than this. Um, and it's is more sort of, for me, along the sort of paths, I would say, instead of where this is like woods and stuff, this is like paths and stuff. So even like running this down a canal and tow paths where it's a bit slippery, this is a good shoe. But for me, out of these two, it's definitely the craft. Now, the thing is as well with the Brooks that holds it back is the price. It's 160 pounds, which I think is a bit strong. I think both of these shoes actually should be about 120 pounds. That's probably where it's at uh, in terms of price, but I get, you know, everything's really expensive at the moment. Um, but, you know, is it the, are these two the best two trail shoes out there? Mm, it's hard to, hard to say. Uh, for me at the moment, this is my go-to trail shoe when I'm up in the fields and things like that, unless obviously I've been sent a new pair. This is my go-to trail shoe at the moment. I really, really enjoy running in this shoe. I have had fun running in the Catamount too, but if I'm you know, looking at both of them in the garage, then I'm pulling out the craft at the moment. Okay, right, so that's the end of this very quick versus head-to-head -head video. I said it was gonna be quick. Uh, so let me know in the comments, like I said at the front end, have you got either of these two? Are you looking at either of these two? Which one have you gone for? Or which shoe do you think that, that, um, that's out there that's actually better than both of these? Right, that's it from me, guys. I'm gonna go now and head into the mountains. I'll catch you later.